Jump and go by everything! That would be hypocrisy. That would be That would be the peak of hypocrisy. This is what the UK has been reduced to. Exactly. There's a Jedi in the in the back. I thought, what's the Star Wars? If, if you fall over, what's the Star Wars a mimp. Palpatine? Yoda, is it? Yoda, oh, the, little, the, the little Star yeah. Wars character. Yeah, Yoda. Uh, Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a crowd. I never had a crowd like this before. So I think Yoda. Yoda, it is. Uh, so, shall I, shall I start? Start, start? So, I am here today to talk about a subject that probably some of you are going to be quite surprised to hear me talking about, but I think it's quite an important subject. And that subject is a scourge that has been appearing on social media, and now it has appeared here at Speaker's Corner. Go. Boom. And what do they, and what do they, um, who are these people? And again, you're going to be surprised to hear me say this. These people are something that many people have been accused of for months and for years. Nazi. Nazi. These people Nazi. are Nazi. the real far right, the real racists, Nazi. the real Nazis. Nazi. Not the people that people have just been bandying around these words for, for months and years against anyone that, that said something that's of a different opinion. These are real, actual, dangerous, racist, far-right Nazis. And what do they call... Li li listen to how they behave for the next 20 minutes, by the way. And what, and, and what, and what do they call themselves, these Nazis? Because, because they've come up with a little phrase, a little name that they want to call themselves. And the name they've come up with is ethno-nationalists. And these people are trying to define nations solely by one thing, one thing of ethnicity. They are trying to define the British as one common ethnicity, with one common ancestry. They advocate for specific national interests of this apparent ethnic group, and they seek national independence. They seek self-determination for this one ethnic group. They, I'll come on to that, they, will, they base their whole basis of collectivism, and that's what it is, of an, on an alleged common bloodline, an alleged common kinship and genetic heredity. <laughs> so let's break it down. Ethno-nationalist, made up of two words. One ethnicity, one nationality. English so let's go to the dictionary, because that's where I go to define and understand what Not words mean. So let's, go to, the, so let's go to the Cambridge That's Dictionary. Right. How do they define ethnicity? The fact of being from a particular race of people, a category of people who identify with each other, usually on the basis of a presumed, presumed common genealogy or ancestry, an inherited status based on a shared gene pool. Nationality, again, defined by the Cambridge Dictionary, the official right to belong to a particular country, the state of being of a nation, whether by birth or naturalisation. Look across every single dictionary, every single source, and they all define nationality as defined by either birth or um, naturalisation. That is a pure fact that these numpties choose to ignore. Every single dictionary. I define anyone to find yeah, me a dictionary that does Steve. not define nationality as a as a product of birth or naturalisation. The English are born in England. The so it is very, very clear that these two English definitions are different. They are clearly so distinct. The they are describing like different <laughs> things. No, you're wrong. Right? And we all know this. Whenever we apply for a job, we're asked those two you're questions wrong. separately. We're asked, what race are we? We tick the white, the Asian, the black, the mixed box. We then ask what nationality we are. Then we're asked what nationality we are. That is obvious, it's what our citizenship is. We're British, we're French, we're Kenyan, we're Nigerian. And we can have dual 
dual citizenship. It is quite possible and legal across this globe to have dual citizenship. My wife has dual citizenship. Millions of people across the, wa across the world have dual citizenship. So, let, let me carry on, Derek. Let me carry on, Derek. So, the ethno-nationalists bring two words together that are completely different and try and make them one and the same. But notice, notice how they tiptoe around and they'll really try their best never to use the words race or never to use the words white oh, people the because they know full well that those words will expose them for what they are as real racists Nazis. that they really are. So let's play along for one moment with the idea that British, um, with the idea of British, British ethno-nationalism for one moment. So what is the British ethnic group? The ethnic diversity of Britain is self-evident. Just look around. But of course, they have to play down the reality of this country and of this nation. They have to deny the reality of these islands' history. Migration into this country has been happening for millennia. From the time of the last Ice Age to the 11th century, the Celts, the Romans, the Anglo-Saxons, the Norse, the Normans came here. Middle Eastern Jews, and they'll particularly hate this bit, Middle Eastern Jews came here after 1066. Roma have been documented here since the 16th century. The oldest black community date back to at least the 1730s in Liverpool. The oldest Chinese community in Europe came to Britain in the 19th century. As we all know, since 1948, we've had substantial immigration from Africa, the Caribbean, from India. And are all of those people that have been coming here for millennia, are their descendants so not British today? <laughs> people that have been coming here since the Ice Age, are their descendants oh, not cool. British? Yeah. Genetic purity, which these deluded fools who misuse science, simply does not exist. Oh. We all have two parents. How can purity exist? when half of our bloodline is from one person, the other half from another. We biology. are all mixed know, race to one degree or another. More, some African. more than others. People, some more than others, though. Some more than others. People have interbred. Some more than others. People have interbred with one another region and for centuries of history. We can all get our DNA tested today. We can all get our DNA tested. How many of these clones have even done that, I wonder? And we all know that the majority of us are made up of a weird and wonderful mix of DNA from around this globe because of the reality of the history of this nation. Ethno-nationalism is a concept about identity. It might be natural for humans to come together and to build identities and, or and to organise themselves in groups. But let's be honest, these people are no different to the racists of South Africa. The people in South Africa who choose to identify themselves and divide themselves along pure ethnic lines. And they try and present this under the veil of ethno-nationalism today. They want the different races to be separated across the globe, just like the racists of apartheid South Africa do. But let's not deny ourselves. This isn't some cuddly, kind, deluded fools. This is dangerous. These people, this theory only leads to hate. This theory only leads to violence. And it's a hateful nonsense with no basis in science whatsoever. You say that, the man knows what's science. Ralph, shut the fuck up. Yes, biggest corner. I couldn't put it better myself. Welcome to Alas Corner. An ethno state, an ethno state that they say they stand for. Is it has Oscar. exclusionary rules yeah. to the core. They day. want to decide oh, who can be let no. in. They want to decide who they force out. Correct. Yes. How, can it, Correct. how can it ever be moral to judge individuals on the basis of their perceived characteristics of the, of the group which they may or may not Martin belong to. King, Bizarrely, <laughs> they claim to hate the left and to criticise the left's obsession with identity politics. Yet their whole ideology 
is on the basis of generalising because of the group that they decide to put you into. I'm clearly Their collectivist the concept <laughs> is surely the absolute definition <laughs> of identity <laughs> politics of the left. Blah, blah, blah. And there may be blah, people blah, blah, here blah, blah. who attempted to blah, blah, blah. Listen, blah, blah, blah. listen to the intellectual yeah. response. You sound like a social like justice warrior. There may be people here attempted to join like them, not realising the extreme nature of this movement. <laughs> They will tell you it's about nationalism, about being patriotically British, and that the Finnish or the Belgians are no more welcome here than the Kenyans or the Nigerians. You let them all in. This is you an absolute lie. Frequently they slip, they slip up and they and they drop their guard. They let slip the sheer lie that yeah, this is, let's slip the dogs exposing of the true racism and white supremacy of their perspective. No, oh, Steve, is your, white not, is your wife not white? Oh, is she not even Northern European? They expose the core of their white supremacy racism time and time again. And today, they are so desperate to recruit people. They are desperately I circling around you, like vultures, circling yeah. around the Tommy Robinson movement, thinking that this might offer them rich recruitment. Yeah, it's not happening. Yes, they may it's find they may it's find it's one or two people, but I can assure them with no doubt whatsoever that the vast majority of Tommy fans see them for exactly what they are. Racist. Yeah. Racist vultures, yeah. desperate for a yeah. fan base. Yeah. Tommy yeah. himself yeah. fought for He's years to keep these racists out of his movement, yeah. Yeah, to exactly. keep out the extremists, the actual far-right racists. Nazi. One of his convictions <laughs> was punching a Nazi in Sunderland, was it? Tommy stood from the start against these white yeah, supremacist well racists. Thank you, Steve. Well Look at me, man. And I'll tell you what, one, one tiny little thing that shows me that I'm right. Oh yeah. I put out a tweet only a few days ago. And believe me, I know Ricky Gervais on Twitter. I don't have a big following. But this one tweet, I think Ricky probably Gervais. got one of the most the biggest response that any tweet I've ever trigger put out warning, got. Trigger warning. And the tweet trigger, that I put out trigger warning. was this. Trigger tweet. warning to the far right. Trigger this trigger tweet. warning. They got Tomasik brothers, actually know that. And, guy. My, and my, only a few oh, yeah, words I added Scottish. to this tweet. Are these men British? <laughs> no. Are these men British? Without no. doubt, in He's my Scottish. view, they He's are. Scottish. That tweet He's obviously got Scottish. the biggest response Scottish, I've ever got. Well, in case you notice, though, Scotland is part of Britain. If you that man is a Scot, that is a disgrace to every Scottish man. This uh, tweet, yeah. which for me and my small level Scottish, of following, got over 110,000 views. 3,000 people liked this tweet. 425 <laughs> people retweeted it. Of the over 400 responses, by far the massive majority of responses was resounding support that these men are true Brits. And most of the responses absolutely agreed these were true Brits and the people were proud of these people being true Brits. If you think so that is I know I do wrong. not stand alone in calling they're these British, racist they may not be ethnically Scottish, but they're British. These so people British. have done and will do more for Britain than I ever have and ever will, and certainly more He's than these Scottish. clowns will ever do for the nation you state of Britain. You call that man a Scottish man and you're calling me a clown. You must he be said British. The uh, values that uh, are important to me <laughs> and which I think are important to the vast majority of the British population are the traditional, uh, now don't get triggered again, truth. the traditional uh, liberal values of freedom, yes. tolerance, yes. equality yes. and individual rights. Yes. These values help to define what British is about, not your DNA, what your views, what your values, what you believe in your heart. That's what makes you British. To all those that have come and participated and contributed to this society, 
that have respected and, re and contributed to this culture. Yeah, whether like seeking background, whether Jewish, like they get triggered. Yeah, whether they get Caribbean, whether yeah. Polish. Yeah. It yeah. does not yeah. matter. Shamima Begum, it doesn't matter, she's British. Mark Collection yeah. Nazi bum yeah. boy, yeah. fucking. Down for Mark Collection. These people, as I said, are vultures circling around, desperate for membership. Don't. You have your we, we know what British is, Britishness is. Big they don't. Don't let them Shemima get the limelight. Right. They no, are fools. Don't. They are yeah. racist fools. Quiz, who yes. I can tell you are under very close surveillance by the oh, state God. because oh, the God. state God. knows the potential What's threat the, that rude. these people serve. Thank you. Thank and you we will not, not allow them. We, we will not allow them. We will stand with our brothers, whether and sisters, whether Sikh, whether Jewish. The Polish, we will stand together against these fascist Nazis. I thank you. They got to save World Wide World! Steve for Prime Minister. Now, obviously, I need to say my bit as well, yeah? Because, you know, I've got to do what I've got to do. Are you going on the ladder? No, you're crazy. I'm not that brave. Not yet. Yeah, so. No, no, I don't want the lever. So, so, big up to the Steve. Yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. So, what we're going to do today, yeah, is over the, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to challenge um, this particular ragtag of Nazis or racists, whatever they are. And every week, we will talk about a particular subject matter. Now, we will try to keep it civil because it's a very serious. A situation going at the moment the where you have it, where you oh shut your mouth, when you when you, when you have it, yeah, certain individuals yeah, linked to people like Mark Collette, yeah, who has been a Nazi in the past, Stop and in my opinion has not given up his views. Now a lot of people would say that Tommy Robinson is a racist. I'm a racist. He's a racist. We're all with this year. But if you really want to see the far right, this is it. The far right. I am a civic nationalist. I believe no, everybody <laughs> is, is part of the UK as long as you are contributing and want the best for the UK. Now, Shemina I will deport people if I ever come into power, but that will not be based on religion or race. I will deport him and every one of them that think that kind of mindset and the jihadis as well. But in my opinion, these guys are very dangerous in the sense that they are like Anjum Chowdhury. On one side you have Anjum Chowdhury, who's radicalising young Oshu. men son, yeah, into committing my acts of violence. Theory. It's only a matter of time that I these guys are going to radicalise a kid and that kid will go on to do something very uh, serious against the state. Thousands. And I hope that these guys are being watched. Corbyn's now, left -wing what we're going to do today <laughs> here, Steve, Steve, so, Steve. <laughs> the audacity of hope. Basically, Steve here, yeah, the reason why Steve's the leader of this movement is not because he's white. <laughs> Before everyone starts crying, yeah. Raj, let the white man take control. It's because of meritocracy. Because this guy is the first person to really challenge these guys publicly. If I did it, I'd be in charge. But I am second in charge, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, so if he's not here, I'm running things. Now the thing is, yeah, what we'll start today, we're going to ask the question today on our first topic of many. Two days ago, Ralph, it, Ralph said that he wants hate crimes to increase. I've got the audio. He says he wants hate crimes to increase in the UK so that the UK will be destabilised. So we will start discussing today why do you want hate crimes to increase in the UK? Because I can see one more. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see hate crimes plus one. So you said you said two days ago that what you well, you would wish hate crimes to increase in the UK against minorities. That's not what I said. Do you want me to play the recording no, and put it right I now? So I can put it right here. Shall we do it? Shall we do it? All right. Shall I play it? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. What he's going to do is going to try and deflect. Yeah. We'll no, I'm play gonna it. Actually, can I talk now? You've had well, are you going to deny you, you said it? No, I'm going to speak my way. Are you going to deny you said it? Yes or no? No, no, no. You're not going to. You're not going to bully me around. So I will talk when I want to do. No, no. Are you going to first? You're going to. All right. So just to save, just to save time, I'm going to play it first. Yeah. No, you're going to. He's Scottish. Is that a Scottish no, guy? A is that a Scottish guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this a Scotsman? Just so that we don't. Black and white. 
Hey, you believe this man is a Scottish That's your granddad. You should join this movement. That's your granddad. If you believe the Scottish so people just so that we, we are just being uh, insulted sure. by this guy because Scottish, you so know listen. where to find us. And if you believe this man is Scottish, if you think he's Scottish, uh, join the other British man. And, and oh, you're not ready to hear it. So what we'll do here, look, is it's on here. Right? I have a recording of this gentleman yeah, yeah. saying yeah, that he look. wants hate let's crimes to increase. I want so hate that crimes. That is the main one. one. That is I what we need to discuss. Oh, let me put it on my mic. Hate crimes plus one. So I'm gonna play it and listen. Oh, I'm giving you my most stuff. Everyone subscribe, like, and share COE for an extreme media. Subscribe, like, share COE for an extreme media. Your virtues don't want to see this happen. I say, I stand by everything I've always said. I can give you a whole moral standpoint. What do you want murders to see? I haven't been able to see it. Oh, murders? No, I don't want to see murders. I want to see murders. I want to see hate crimes against minorities. I would see hate crimes. I would see hate crimes as minorities increasing, being a downstream problem. Uh, here's what I've said in the record while they're playing it. In the last 10 years, if you look at the data from the ONS, the hate crimes have been very, very calm. In the last six years, hate crimes against race. Now let him go, let him talk here, because this is the most increased. This is a killer point. So the hate crimes against race and religion are rising, and of course Europe, equally showing you I would, I would like it to increase because of safety and terrorism. No, but I would like to see the average number increase. I would not wish a hate crime upon anyone. Make sure you get a COE logo with one. That's just good. I would need more names. There's all of them going down to the true right. I'm just writing because they're showing the right. There's all of them going down to the true right. How about this? I would not want a hate crime. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, as England rises, people can listen to that online. You can't hear it here. As England rises, you'll hear it on COE. As England rises, so this guy said he wants hate crimes to increase. We need to ask him why do you want hate crimes of minorities to increase? Yeah, go. So, to explain, right? So, hate crimes rise against race and religion. Right, right, right. This clown, this clown put one graph up of hate figures. I immediately, as soon as I saw that graph, I went to the website, the national website where these where these figures were. And obviously, there's lots of information if you look behind. If you look, yes, we all know that. If you look behind them. Behind them? Yes, i.e. the numbers and the, and the, and the, the, um, the division of those statistics behind, the numbers that were behind them. Behind the and, 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 Yeah. Well, what you want to say? I mean, what is behind Exactly. The so basically, it breaks it down. And do you know the two areas where the hate crime has increased within the window that was being analysed in that report? Trans hate and homophobic no. hate. Oh. If you looked at the race hate, <laughs> that was, <laughs> it's, 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 it's gone up a, a minuscule amount. But if you look at the trans hate, absolutely no, huge percentage increase. And if you look at the homophobic hate, absolutely huge increase. Yeah, because he doesn't want to do, he doesn't no, want to no, expose that, because it's against his narrative. It doesn't support his narrative. No, all he wants to say is we're, no, no, we're, we're, all, we're, all, we're all beating each other up because of our racial differences. That's the lie he's trying to spin. But look at the statistics, and it's hate against trans people and about gay people. So so there's the fact. So if you're going to present, if you're going to present statistics, look behind them. That's my point. So if you look at the actual numbers that have climbed up to last year, because Steve is on debate on live stream losing all these points. Let me explain the data. I'm a computer scientist. If you look at the data, what you see repeatedly is when hate crime rises against race, religion, or other little people like these metrosexual things, and when hate crime rises we'll against the precursor them, when, when, second, first, when these hate crimes we? rise, no, it won't. shows that right-wing movements are rising. My only point is, when they rise, Steve it's evidence downstream that anti-Semitic anti attacks, metrosexual attacks, race attacks, uh, hijab okay. attacks are showing that the people are discontent enough for that to bubble up as violence. We in the right see that as a leading indicator of inevitable political but you're success. you're the ones who are also whipping up that hate. We are. The reason we are, it goes up is you you're are the ones who are fanaticizing the right. So do you think people don't hate each other the unless they're... you're whipping up the hate okay, great, that point. causes those So may I respond? In, may, well, they may I respond? So, so do, you believe people hate, hate. do you believe people hate only not. because they're told to hate? But if you're whipping up no, a that's hate not my question. And you are here. fanaticizing you. you're the right. You're repeating yourself. Well, do you agree with me, though? Yes, you're repeating yourself. Do you agree with me? But may I, but do you agree with me? Yes, but can you answer you. my Thank question? You very much. So, my question to you is do you believe people hate without being told to hate? 
people hate because people are gullible and they and they're whipped so up. So you agree with me? And people they're groomed hate by people. Maybe you're, no, 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 running away from the question. So what's the difference? Running so away from the question. So what's the difference? Running away from the question. What's the difference between Tommy Robinson supporters and Tommy Robinson fanboys whipping up hate amongst people? I'm not talking about Tommy Robinson. No, 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 no. Indeed. Oh, this man whipped me up hate against Muslims. Oh, yeah, I'm calling out the jihadis. I'm whipping out hate. The Muslims, really? I'm going to do that extremely. So let, don't, don't, let, don't let these guys derail the conversation and dominate. I will say something here that when I asked him, do you want murders to increase? He said no. When I said, do you want hate crimes to increase? He said yes. So why would you want murders to not increase, but you want hate crimes to increase? So that's the thing. So you need to know that and you need to answer that. Plus one. I said. So I didn't say no, I said yes plus one. I'm not even taking personal. I'm just saying to say it. No, but the genuine question is, so you can see, you're right, there's an interaction between society. We should try and make the place a more collective. That's your third point. Nice society. That's an objective, and that's what we should be That's your objective, but let me speak about So the British are willing to accept people. We have done for centuries. We're willing to accept people. Good man, Derek. So is it not the people that are coming in? Creating the trouble with the British. Yeah. The issue is. Is it yes. not the people no, creating no, yeah. the problem there with the British? No, well said. Are, Diversity plus proximity causes conflict. Into this country, Diversity and the only plus proximity a hate equals them conflict. Is that there's a prejudice against those people whipped up by That's certain factions that will cause Or is it that they don't want to become yeah. part of the British society? They want to be part, they want to import their own. Well, that's a, di that's a different discussion. That's a, that's a different discussion about... No, that's the root of the discomfort. That is the root of the discomfort. That, that's another topic that we can talk about. But that is the bigger, bigger issue today is about talking about these guys. Derek is on the money. Good man, Derek. Everyone subscribe, like Black Man Man. Black Man Man is part of our crew. Are you? He's one of ours. He's one of our leading guys. So yes, they get drunk. And, and that goes for the Spanish, from the Spanish and the Germans. Jesus turns water into wine. There's nothing wrong I've been chatting to you all the time anyway. Not but the problem is we're making strong. Our taxes. Make sure I don't get fat. That's the very fascist thing in the world. How dare you call me a fascist? I'm much further right wing than that. Don't you dare call me a fascist. It's the far right dick measuring context. Do you think the British should be repatriated from Spain as they're not ethnically yes. Spanish. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we are trying to be consistent. We on believe point. in the existence of the Congolese people and a future of so Congolese British children. Will come back and everybody in else Congo. Will leave is what we're looking at here. Yeah, we believe in the future of Vietnamese children and in Vietnam, and we do so for the English in England. We do not pretend that funny looking guy in the kilt <laughs> with the turban yeah, is a Scottish yeah. We're here, we're Spain, yeah. man. That's just tactics. I can't do nothing about it. I told you you're going to have to so shoot me to get me out. These people are Scottish. It doesn't mean we would deport all of them, but the first identity for us to steal a man is to steal his identity. Derek is an Englishman. You're not. I'm not. Yeah, all right. So, so we've heard your thing here. And the thing about these guys, they try to be civil. They try to be civil like they, 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 they're kind of civilized people. But ultimately, their end words. goal is words. to use violence yeah, 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 yeah. and intimidation to remove people from the UK. Right. Right. That, these seconds. are the real savages right. out here. Right. Savages. Savages. Yes, yes, I want to ask you no arguments, name calling. Yes, sir. You said that when all the oh, no. Africans on the right go back, oh, no. pigeons you deserve it. When all the Africans go back, I thought you said pigeons. Yeah, we got a pigeon. You said when the Africans go back, you're going to help the Christians go with the sword. Yes. So well, I was so right. very. You said confused. when all the Africans have returned to Africa, hey. Nigeria, for example. Right. Yeah. The Big up the Nigerian the people. The Christians are going to come, yeah, with the sword. Is that right? Yeah. To do what? Do you yeah. To remove them. To remove them. Is to that, remove is that true? What? Uh, the court sounds very modern. It doesn't sound like my thinking. So would you like my view on Christianity? Do you remember Nigeria? saying that? I, what you no, said doesn't even in my thought then. process. No. So. Of weeks ago, no, but what are you? I mean, it's very noisy. What do you want my positions on what Christianity and the nation state in Nigeria? Yeah, I mean, oh, come in, Lister. So, I believe, I believe, let me tell you what I believe. Reese is making the point, I'm trying to get it right. There's just so many people, I know, I realize. Are you following the footsteps of Jesus? I mean, we, I am a far right Christian imperialist. You said there's four different theologies. 
Well, that's a different debate and question. We can happy to go. So you're going to do the crusades crusade again on these people. You're going to start the crusades. So I believe, if you want me to ask, I believe all nations should follow so the nation the states. Today? I believe Christian the nations the should support were. other Christian nations. You're shouting about it. What the were the crusades? Huh? What were the crusades? You're saying, yeah. are we going to do the crusades again? What yeah. were the crusades? Yeah. Well, there was, it, was, it was a false military type of, of religious um, ideology going along the road in a militarised form what? that went and took over nations. That's, that's no, it's not. That's not true. No, it's not what the, that's it's not what the cru crusades yeah. were about. Yeah. The crusades were pushing back the ideology of Islam right. because they were taking over yeah. Europe. They no, got and Jerusalem, fight. from Jerusalem all the way, yeah. from Richard the Lion, as a military religious force. Correct. Yes, yes. yes. to push yeah. back. Like, like, to push I'm back. Yeah, like the to idea. To push back, not extend, to push back. <laughs> That's another matter. <laughs> <laughs> it was to push Just back. Just like the idea. Not extend. <laughs> like the idea. It was to push back to. To, no. to defend. We're not no, 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 Four, hang on, me. We have four doctrines on violence yeah. since our entire Christian history. One of them is the Crusader position right. for preemptive violence. It is endemic in the Christian history. Should every British citizen yeah. in the and diaspora, all good Englishmen who took the sword every for Christ and every yeah. British citizen yeah. in the diaspora, diaspora should they all return to England? Which, well, that I think not So, so the, the ones in Spain people, and Portugal and the Czech Republic and America, that. That. And America but we, should they all return to Mother but, England? But we already answered the question. Everyone who came Why here will now leave, and all of the Correct. indigenous white English will return to nation, this land, yeah? Yeah? including all the Spanish what, yeah. in Marbella and everything now, because they're not Spanish. Yeah. So yeah. How, how, are you, how are you going to deport? Do you see what I'm saying? That doesn't work. So if you look at, so let me help you. I'm if you're trying to understand right. the nationalist movement, you should yeah. ask the nationalists what we're doing. Right. Get the ball so ball in the nationalist home. movement, but we believe each every nation Every Englishman should. home to England. So each nationalist of all the nationalist parties movements have a common model. We believe nations should be sovereign, they should determine what their ethnic percentage group is, and they should decide who's their our group. If the Spanish decide to kick out the English, the Spanish decide to kick so, them out. So if you, want, if you want every to Jew to go to the state of Israel, then every Englishman must return to England. Then. No, no, no. You no, 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 have no, 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 Listen carefully. Each nation state should determine who their out group is allowed to be in. So if the Germans want to allow the Jewish people to remain, the Germans should allow the Jewish people to remain. So it Just becomes like the, a national decision made by those states and those governments. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. 14 <laughs> words for everybody. I want Israel to be left with the Jewish people. I want Israel to be safe. We're not enforcing that every Jew has to go to Israel. Right. And you're not enforcing every Englishman to return to Mother England. Saying each nation determines if the Hungarians don't want to live with Polish people, the Hungarians must secure a future And the Hungarians want to live with Vietnamese. And for That's your view. Okay. What's your view? That's the view of all the nationalists. All the nationalists. At least I've got the view now. Ask me to do well. If the Hungarian are citizens of Hungary, if the Polish are citizens of Hungary, how come the Polish decide to throw them out? Because we believe, <laughs> unlike, unlike the, the gentleman peddling liberalism, oh. we as nationalists believe you cannot separate ethnicity call, from citizenship. So we believe an Englishman is English, like Derek, and that, that doesn't mean British. other people can't live in his land. I think he's British. I'm British. I'm British. 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 Uh, okay, but I let's say he's English, <laughs> and he, he can decide. He that. can decide who stays here. Brilliant. So you define, you define citizenship based on the race, not in the no, no, not <laughs> just yeah, not not just race, thing. ethnicity plus their choice. Self-determination. So Steve is wrong. He doesn't understand the intellectual history of many things, including nations. That's what blows us out the thing, though. My Nigerian wife is Nigerian. My child is half caste. So what do we do? Send her back to Nigeria and keep the child here? That doesn't work. That doesn't work, does it? No one's saying that. It doesn't work. How are you going to swap? What's Ralph going to do with his own children? If he is broken, I must have his own. Vice, the 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 the
is no, breaching not his just own German. principles. Not just German. Not just German. Where is the German? This man is half Indian, half English. His wife is German. Yeah, but not just German. Should we first bring this man to the Should we do as he says? Or should we do as he does? That is my question. I know you're all excited. Should we do what this man tells us? Or should we do what this man has done himself? So, first of all, my wife is not just German. But she's German of the Wagner gene pool. Oh, so that would trigger you even more. Oh, that would Beautiful. be proud. Hey, wonderful. Hey, hey, what? Hey, the, hey, and you see, this is why this man goes from <laughs> Nazi to so those are you Because he has to make up the for the colour of his world. skin amongst his Nazi How mates. This is why this man this laughs and jokes about All Nazi saluting to make up the for the colour of his skin. All the bright because brown his mates people are fascist. So he has to do this. He has to Nazi salute. Report him first. Right. Lead by example. To be friends now. with these Nazis. So that is why he does question, it. Very calm question. Calm and steady. There will be order in the house. Do you, do you, you do like notice the gross so, hypocrisy sorry, of this man? The gentleman just stepped me where he will be. Sir, yes, ma'am. Right. Um, <laughs> when you do your salute. <laughs> yes, sir. So I've done it and I'm Jewish. Here we go. Here we go. I'll hold it for a minute. What is the reason why you do your salute? I will explain that simply and quickly. The reason. In the word Nazism, like racism or hater, is a left-wing idea to suppress the truth. As a brown man standing here, me doing this is like Monty Python. Ah. Do you really believe? Do you I do that when you visit Germany? Yeah. Right. Do you no, do, do you it when you visit your wife's Calm family down, in Germany? Sweetheart. Do you do it? My wife is. I'm sure they love the, Monty Python. Think in about Germany. it. My wife yeah. descended from the Wagner family. The Wagner. Draw your conclusion. The Wagner. Give us time. Draw your conclusion, Steve. Yeah, yeah. What conclusion? I know I'm not doing it for love. No, I'm doing it because we in the right. There is a theory that he's a part. To the, the British Overton state window. to draw out and the racists the into, the, into the bright air. There is a theory that he is being paid to do all of this, okay, that this is a joke, and that he's drawing out the racists so the authorities can spot racist, them in the daylight. Racist, racist. There is a real ongoing theory of this. Yeah. Oh, I if you MI5, I'll kiss his ring. But I've blown it. Sorry, MI5. I nearly Nazi saluted them. The only people who's going to lead you. Is young men are in the prison or death. That's it. And a, these a, that's are, all you have. Apart from, apart from the, what was his job, the head of PR for the BNP, the, the that got thrown out of the BNP for plotting to murder Nick Griffin. The only people that follow him true. are young, vulnerable lads. Ooh. Just watch. Yeah, they'll either go, they'll either go they'll prison leader or was the investigated we are for plotting to we murder are the Nick Griffin. You cannot Google stop it, my it. friends. It is all over the internet. Plotting and to murder Nick Griffin, and allegedly. Scared, right, because we are telling the truth. An Englishman is not a Scotsman, and a Sikh with a kilt is not a Scottishman. Did we say that, though? So he goes <laughs> round and they're British. saluting as a Monty Python joke. Not, I, I know, I know John Cleese did a silly walk, but I can't remember John Cleese Nazi saluting. Can anyone else? Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Can you remember this? Remember this? Don't mention the war. Oh, he did. Yeah, don't mention the war. I had a very bad knock on the head. Have you had a Nazi? Look, I'm a Nazi. Have you had a bad knock on the head? Don't mention the war. And this clown no, no, is no, looking for Nazis. Oh, he used to be so polite. Yeah. He runs he around so chasing polite. Muslims on one day because they believe, liberals believe but in the thing called origins. funnily enough, this man's ideology one is very Muslim, close. Yeah, the the ideology of radical one Islam. Muslim, they hate they homosexuals. homosexuals. They hate Muslims, Jews. Nazis. They've got a lot <laughs> in common with radi radical Islam. <laughs> That's why he says he, he actually Any respects radical uh, radicali that. radicalized Islam. You said that one day I'm a Nazi, the other day I'm an ISIS member. Islam is right about Islam's right about women. Islam's right about Jews. Islam's right about Islam's homosexuals. Is Islam wrong about women? Look at the. T I mean, you shouldn't waste your time really. But if you ever do have spare time and watch some of their live streams, just read the chat. That's I'm the most sure the enlightening part of it. That. If you read the so chat of Steve, the sort of people Steve, that are attracted Ralph. to these sorts of people. And you should read it and go, boo! I believe English people exist and they belong in England.
Ralph, you fuck it, call me Ralph, a Nazi. Ralph, you, got well, you, don't, you don't think um, responding to racism is important? Millions and millions and millions of ordinary English people. Well, well, you should go oh, no. Oh, We're not starting from the beginning. Billions. It's proving it is the Nazi. Can I just say, I actually missed out one page. Yeah, read it. Which is a bit crap. I feel like it's going to be another speech. Read it. The first one was very dumb. I might have ten more. Just good Lord. Could you explain to us Good Lord, Ferris. Can you fuck um, with absolute no, let, let me read the speech first. Why do you use 14? Absolutely. The 14 you words. Eight, eight, eight. Eight. The 14 words come from a white supremacist serving time in the United States. David Lane. David Lane. a Jew called David Lane. He can't keep his the hand Dalai Dalai Lama, The Dalai Lama supports the 14 words when I say, and here the 14 words. So does we must secure. Brevik. We must secure <laughs> the existence of Tibetan people and a future for Tibetan children. I, well, leave I yeah. Yeah. agree. Leave. We must support Trump. the existence I mean, of Vietnamese right. people and a future for Vietnamese so children. So Everyone's happy. But when I say we must fine. secure the existence of English people and a future for English children, you're going no, 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 Nazi. No, it's called white. Honey, no. he's doing it. Why are you white, white Nazi friend? White. You must white. secure the existence of English people. White people. White people. Here we go. We must. White people. I like that. People I like that. White people. No, but you're white. You don't see what I meant. They always slip up. They always slip up and expose their white supremacy. Your colour issue. The word is white. It's a colour issue. We must secure the existence of black people and a future for black children. And what about mixed race people? We must secure the existence of mixed race people and a future for mixed race children. And we must secure the existence of white people and a future for white children. Where should that? 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 We must secure the existence of even sea people. They don't realise what massive proportion of Britain are now mixed race. And as we all rise up, where are those people going to be sent when these idiots are getting power like that? This country is one of the most, uh, uh, the most, the least yeah, racist you, you countries on this planet, which is why the likes of him will never get to power. But he will never get into power. He will influence young people in the wrong direction. Vulnerable, wrong. I left the wife for long. I left the best for long. How about that? Oh, I'm about you know, about you know, anyway, let, let me, let me, let me <laughs> give you the missing page. The 14th is like the missing page. <laughs> and and yes, this is going to trigger some people. Oh, oh, whether it's Tommy it's Robinson, <laughs> whether <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump, <laughs> whether <laughs> Brexit, none of these movements are based on ethno-nationalism. None of those movements are based on racism. Those movements, in my view, are all based on one thing, exactly and that you is patriotism. You put yourself into a trap. The love, the respect, the love, the respect, the love, the love, the love, the love, the love, and patriotism is, is something that I think is very important, <laughs> and something that will always, will always see beyond colour. Patriotism is bigger than the density of melanin in your skin. It's bigger than where 5% of your DNA came from millennia ago. If you're not going to be honest with yeah. the actual yeah. Unfortunately, no, those on the I left have tried right. to Let make the word patriotism a dirty word in this country. A xenophobic word. A racist word. Yes, of course. They have sought to turn the Union Jack, the St George's flag, into negative symbols of racism. You show me one other country on this planet where that has happened. Every single other country on this planet oh, blah, flies blah, its flag blah, with blah, pride. Blah, 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 they fly the flag from blah, blah, every national blah, blah, building, blah, blah, from every public building, from the school. Blah, 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 blah. The children are taught in school that it's good and principled to be patriotic. Only in this country has the left turned it, tried to turn Where's this into dirty, 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 dirty negative words. Why do they do this? Can Rod sing it? Is it imperial guilt? 
Here's a test of a man of a globe without borders. Can he sing Jerusalem? Can he sing Jerusalem? Can he sing Jerusalem? Do you know what Jerusalem is? My God. Can he sing Jerusalem? It's can about the way our society yeah. is hey, developed he can't, can he as an extended family yeah. that is bound together in what unity. What can I say, mate? And these clowns will you. never can she break that unity. unity. Yeah. That was page five. They got the same. Yeah. 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 Well, I shall not well cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand. So you, you, you said you wanted a civil discussion. England, I don't know if you want to continue that. that. Uh, uh, it's a little bit... Uh, uh, little bit uh, I disavow your politics. I disagree with because your politics Because I am concerned entirely. about people like That's yourself. Right. My grandfather you died fighting Nazis. Mind Real Nazis. Real fucking Nazis. Mind you. Sorry, back yeah. up again. Mind you. Damn good point. Mind Damn you know, good point. Down, down. Our forefathers, our grandfathers. My grandfather! Fascists I like disavow you. myself they from you! I rebuke you! Disavow! Fascists I disavow. Like this. Uh, How dare SCW, he claim British? How dare Gretchen? When Gretchen, our Gretchen, grandfathers Gretchen, died Gretchen, fighting SCW. fascism of this name. Yeah. Hating fascists who hated Where Jewish people, who hated Nazis? gay people. Are there any Nazis? We fought to the death against those fascists. How dare they claim How dare to stand for the Prime Minister! How dare you to the Prime Minister! How you have no support! Nobody supports you! Nobody! I'm not looking for support. This I'm man argues for National Majesty Socialism. Brown. This man yeah. argues for every principle that Hitler stood for. That our forefathers fought against. Everyone look up Godwin's Law on the internet. When you don't have an argument, you're going to say not. What about Twat's it. Law? Oh, look, it up. look it up, you won't find it. That's not a law. Big difference. Yeah, that follows Godwin's Law. Uh, uh, the, the truth is... So you keep on saying that you're, you've got youngsters in your midst that are more radical than us, than them. How young are they? So uh, young, how young are they? Listen to this delusion. How young? Listen to this delusion. They've so got hundreds so and thousands of fans. So and so 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 they're going to get into the question. Was it 10 years? No, he's trying to answer the question for me. He's trying to answer the question for me. Do you see that the problem with the brain? Notice how he won't let anyone out. Notice how he won't let people out. And again, if you've got spare time, look online. He's so scared of us. Look at the crack. He's so scared. He's terrified. Of convicts. He's They're terrified of the nationalist the movement because the, the nationalist the movement vile is true. homophobia. The vile that his homophobia. Talks about. Your metrosexual interests were not He calls me a metrosexual. How does homosexuality help our shaving shame English? How does homosexuality help us find England for the international? I want you to answer that question. How does your support for homosexuality help the Benedict? So, how many youngsters? How many youngsters? Have you got in your movement? This man's the result of a mixed race relationship. This man's had children in a mixed race relationship. They want a man's chosen to live in East London. They want one of the most diverse areas of London. We'd use the fact that he's scared. Which is why I do go back to the theory. Is this man a plant? Is this a comedy? No, it's not a plant. He's a vegetable. He's a vegetable. He's a vegetable. He's a samosa. He's a samosa. He's a pakora. Or a gladium. Whatever. I don't think it's your question with the direction. Your question with the direction. No, no, let's answer this question. Because the thing is, one thing I'm concerned about. I need to repeat it so Steve can hear as well and everybody else. I've met I've met some of your younger kind of followers. One of the individuals on 18, very bright young man. Yeah, Jake. What's the question? And the point is here, yeah, he's still not over to your side, in my opinion. Correct. But what you lot are saying is that you have got a, because uh, I heard a you lot saying line. online, that you have a lot yeah, of a young people pipeline. on your side that are more ready to do this. And the gas chamber will be at the end. And there's a danger you're going to destroy their future. Let me answer. You're going to destroy their future if you actually... Let me answer. The leader. Can we answer the question? Just the hand. Can we answer the question? Or with the diversity of strength, not the dictator? It's because he's brown, by the way. It's 
God is in He's the He's making up. Fascist friend. Don't tell you don't have answers. They come for debate, but they won't shut up. Let them talk. They come for debate, ask questions, won't answer. We will see. And what do you do on your life? Can I ask you? What do you do on your life? You turn everybody out on your life. You turn everybody out. 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 Five minutes on they the ask a count. question and Shariah they can't take the answer. The leader of our movement of the largest site of the generation. Is that the one who was, who was investigated for no, plotting to murder? Notice how he won't. That one. Notice how he won't. Oh, the one answer. who also doesn't look very English. Notice, notice how he's scared. So the leader, no, because you're a, you're a clown no, and you're a hypocrite. So the leader of our, the leader of our, you're a pseudo scientific clown. Who's your leader? Notice how you and won't this, let is world. World. this is the real world. Notice how you can't block me out here. This is the real world. I will block you. I will just demonstrate how you won't let the answer, and I will win. I demonstrate that. On trigger, we will demonstrate how you won't listen. We, is that the oil? Yes, we, the entire movement. Should I answer our discussion? 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 Notice how Raj knows how to wage and take turns, and you don't. So, to answer Raj's question, our largest youth movement, we call them the Zoomers, are led how by many? How many? Nick Fuentes. Give us a number. Nick, by Nick Fuentes and the America First Movement. Oh, not in and Britain. Groypers. Not in Britain. No, they're Nick more American than Britain. Like yeah. so Britain are too sensible, yeah. aren't we? So, the leader of our movement is Nick Fuentes and millions of supporters from the age of 13, 14, here, getting ready for the war. Stay, Let me say something. Yeah. Anyone going with them you. here, yeah. they'll, they'll, any youngsters yeah. going towards yeah. here, yeah. they'll yeah. either be dead yeah. or in prison. They'll either be dead or in prison. Anyone following these guys will either be dead or in prison. Like Andam Chowdhury followers, they are either dead or in prison. Same with these guys. Into the war room. Is the right-hand side of your body going to go to India and the left-hand side of your body? Where are you going to go? Cabinet war room. What he's advocating can only end badly. What he's advocating can only end badly. And I'll tell you why. For the supporters he's got, Holocaust denial, vicious outright anti-Semitism, going back to 1933. We all know what Holocaust denial is. 88, Heil Hitler in there. They're sick in the head. Heil Hitler is what And that can only end one way, badly. great respect. It is a Nazi ideology. But Britain ideology, will never fall you like it. it so the risk is you not may not be, but it is a Nazi, Nazi. ideology. That's an epic You may not be yourself. Well, well, you talked to a war. You talked to a war. Criticizing You don't know Holocaust what you're talking about with war. war. It belongs to the English. A war against the white. You're talking you about the war. If you fight us on the principle. Who's that? Indians? Who are you talking about? So us. The English people. English not, English the English. English. not the Indians. Not the Indians. Why are you English. talking about the English? Because this is Otherwise, English. You're like something. The so so who's going to fight this war? Yeah. And how's yeah. it going to start? Mark Collett is going to. And what's her name? Dion Moller. Obviously, She's going to fight in her bedroom in Denmark. Yes, I am scared of a bloody war, you idiot. You're scared yes, of I am truth. bloody scared of a war. Both right of my parents scared. went through a bloody war, you clowns. You yeah. bloody yeah. idiots. Not my granddad. It's a Channel 5 comedy. Not Don't take it seriously. Was right, okay. okay. No, no, but it's a serious <laughs> thing in the sense that it's a Channel 5 could, comedy. But he could be just like, he could be 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 like, you can see how the liberals and sim dads can't even argue against it. Is it Channel 5? Is it Channel 5 you're welcome? Come on, you see that none of these sim dads have an argument. None of them can't even <laughs> Which one is? He argues not be able to Which one are you working you on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? Today's a little bit rowdy, right. but in the future, we will pick a topic. You can't do it today. We'll, hold on, hold on, hold on. We will tomorrow. pick a topic in the future. I, 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 can't do no, it no, I wouldn't give them options. You've been destroyed. Just <laughs> really the man standing on the white chair. Uh, you've been really? destroyed by your oh, The only oh. bit that you've been destroyed is when, when I asked you the question about the 14, you missed out the bit white. Right. It's funny that, isn't it? <laughs> they always make a little try to hide the white supremacy because they know that will hang them out to dry. Behind the brown man. <laughs> That's why I was Another reason why they've got a half in the being the yeah, main yeah, spokes. Yeah, I'm a biological. You can't record. call us white supremacists fascists if we put up the half Indian. Clearly not. And get him to salute every so Clearly often. not. Because you won't you stop the Nazi. <laughs> When you lose an argument, you, you what say would you Nazi. prefer? Fascist. You're talking what about would you war. Prefer? So you're what's your views on Hitler war. then? You're talking of an ethnic it war. That's so what you're talking about. He wants hate. So, 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 so you said war. What is your views on national socialism? What's your last view? 
views you on What's your views on national socialism and Hitler? I didn't mention war until you, you said yeah, war. Some aspects I like, some aspects I don't. You're, you're, you're being so uncovered. Right now. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the bit that you did like? up subjects and then you deny it. Me and Wolf, we discourage people from Oh, bring your own ladder next time. Tell them the facts that Jews are not. You do. Maybe Mark can come. Oh, no, he'll be triggered. You know damn well. Mark will either go out in a hissy fit or he'll end up... So you're not one of those guys that says that the Jews made my chips go cold. You're not one of those guys that says the Jews are responsible for everything, including my chips being cold. Okay, cool. We don't, we don't like the people that are responsible. At least you're you. At least you're you can't even get by me and you want to talk to my boy. At you're Because you're his buffoon. You can't by me. You haven't got by me ever. No, I'm not by you. You need to... I mean, I talk. You might stand here. You might stand here. I'll be easier. 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 I'll be these are not true. These are not true. We're rich. We're an interesting rich You can't always go in a self-congratulatory base if you're trying to build your movement. You need to join it. Otherwise, it's illegal. Otherwise, the other people are God bless and heal the red squirrels. <laughs> Is healing red squirrels a Nazi? Yeah. Nothing against red squirrels. Nothing against red squirrels. They're just too fucking many of them. Are they Nazi squirrels? Sorry, but you haven't answered. I'm guessing he is probably correct. I don't know them. Don't like you can build a move with a broad church. Just having everyone that self congratulates yourself. You need massive. Otherwise, it's like going to the school. You're supporting his idea about war? You're supporting this idea about war? Is that no, 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 I'm against him. I'm against him. So what's this war you're talking about? Uh, 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 this is why I know I'm Sorry, speaking uh, for the majority. Anyway, the Brits of Jewish history I'm not allowed to speak, are you? I'm allowed to speak. Oh, no, what have I done? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Britain comes out as the most... Oh, oh look! Oh no! Run, Devil Man! Run, Devil Man! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone. He's gone. British passport. Look at him! Look at him! Run! Look at him! Run! British passport. Look how weak the far right is. Have a look. They legged it. I've never needed a new one. I love years old. I love for their nation, and here is my British passport. Thank you. He did mention the word war, didn't he? And I love my country. And I love my multi-ethnic friends here as well. So let's wrap. Let's wrap up here. The thing is that. Hey, we've got to wrap up because Lars has got to go. Well done. Well done. I don't know, I'm still waiting for a little bit. So, Thank you, look, guys. He Thank may look like a bit of a joke here, Ralph here, here, but the thing is that if he radicalises one ch one kid, yeah, who's a 15, 16 year old, and that's what they're trying to do, those individuals are going to ruin their lives. The yeah, same way that, that Adam Hardy radicalises young guys here, and then they ruin their lives. There's only going to have two routes for these guys. Either they'll be in prison or they'll be dead. Yeah, and this is why this guy here, yeah, although you might see him as a bit of a joke, that he's a brown guy propagating white supremacy, his particular kind of ideology can great, uh, gain kind of traction with younger people who are very disillusioned and maybe even vulnerable to some states here. Yeah. Now, when it comes to this particular movement that Steve and myself and others have set up, including Simon, and whoever else wants to join, if you're a civic nationalist, we'll talk a bit more about what the difference is between a civic nationalist and an ethno-nationalist and why we need to kind of, in my, my opinion, this has probably been one of the best things to happen to the movement. A lot of people like, you know, like say, oh, it's a terrible thing. No, I love it. What it has done is allowed me to now and others to be saying, okay, this is what, yeah, we've been accused of for X, Y, Z months or years. And this is what we actually are against. We're against these racist and these ethno-national and these white supremacists, but we are pro-UK. When it comes to being pro-UK, it doesn't mean you have to agree with all the past. I condemn the colonial history of India. I condemn the slavery of uh, Africans into Jamaica. I condemn a lot. 
But when it comes to being in this land, we've got to work together in order to make the UK prosperous. And when it's prosperous and safe and the social cohesion is there, your descendants will, will, will benefit from that. Right now, we have people in the UK that, and I want to name too many names because uh, he'll pop the thing on another channel, that are actively in the UK trying to disrupt um, you know, social cohesion and making people feel to, you know, there's only one way. You have to hate the UK if you, if you um, uh, disagree with their past. I don't, I disagree with colonialism, but I'm still pro-UK moving forward. But if you're going to talk like that, you've got, also got to nail, talk about uh, generation identity, yeah, turning, we, we, turning up at Tommy Robinson, we, yeah, I mean, this yeah, is, talking about Martin Selner yeah, this is where, and some of his ideas, yeah, so you've got is, to actually denounce yeah, yeah, we, we, some of that we, as well. We, yeah, and we will. The thing is, there you is, can't just sort of yeah, say yeah. them bad. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. We're, we're, this is a long period of time, but today we're just here for a bit. So yeah, there are certain things here that have happened over the last couple of years that you know, uh, we need to start looking retrospectively back and saying, OK, maybe that was a mistake within the movement. Yeah. And the best thing to do that is to be honest and say, OK, it probably was a mistake, in my opinion. And that's the way to move forward, because I think at the moment, you know, we have a, a, a good opportunity now to push forward and show what we're really about. And that also means kind of maybe even critiquing some of our past actions in terms of where we made mistakes. So hopefully people don't get too upset when we start critiquing certain things. I believe the best way, way to make someone grow is to critique them. The truth. We don't need Ralph Hesch dividing the blacks, the whites, yeah, yeah. the gays and the yeah. Jews yeah. on top of this. But you've got to look honestly at yourself as well. You've yeah, got to look course, honestly yeah, yeah. at yourself. You've got to look at Martin Sell now. You've got to look at some of the people in Generation Identity that have got shocking histories, yeah, yeah. shocking histories, and they were peppered all around yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy agree, Robinson, we, we agree, you've got to, you've no, got no, to we agree with that. denounce that. Yeah, we agree with that. The you've got to be is, honest with yourself, Yeah, the man. thing is, yeah, um, people are going to say, why am I talking to Ralph? Because he said some of the most vile stuff against my mother, and I don't want to repeat it. Yeah, yeah, the, the most things. But then again, other people have said disgusting stuff against my mother all the time. My mother doesn't agree with my views, so she's always getting attacked uh, because of what I'm doing, yeah? And there's not much I can do about it because I'm still going to talk. But I am going to, uh, in a way, yeah, challenge him, even though I haven't spoken to him for six months. I'm not going to ignore him from now on. I will challenge him when he's saying something. You're going to yeah. be a very busy person. Yeah, I've got the jihadis on my back and out of far right. How many, how many more issues do I need? I hope the vegans don't go against me because I'm going to become vegan soon, but I'm not there yet. So, yeah, I think Steve. So, big up to Steve uh, leading the charge. Hence why he's in charge. Because he was the first person to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in charge of Raj. But we are going to have different divisions, though. We'll have he Simon looking after the hair. LBGTQ heart. We'll have Black Bad Man under the Black Division. <laughs> uh, we might. Let's run a Chinese person. Let's, we'll get every part of the. You're you saying bring back Tan? Yeah, bring back. No, no, no. I don't know about Tan. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, have, you, have you seen he's still after Lucy? Oh, he's still after it. Oh, really? Yeah, let's, 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 let's forget about Tan. Let's try and forget that ever happened, that whole thing. That whole <laughs> and let's rewrite history if we can. Anyway, I'm still going to be around Sweet Kiss Corner. I can't stay for long, so um, I think we should wrap up. You got anything else you want to wrap no. up on? He run, the devil man run. This no, is right, how you deal with it. Thank you for giving up the time. Big up, big up, big Steve, up. Big up. I just yes, want to say thank you for giving up the time. I really yes, appreciate it, man. Big up, man. Are you live? What are you thinking? Live, yeah, live. Oh, man. big up to live. Three hundred and thirty-three people in the chat. Well, yeah, how do you think it's going? A lot of people heard you. Lots of message. Big up. Well, the thing is that he's actually on the other day. Look. They are promoting uh, what you call kind of like mass deportation of people by violence. There's no other way to do it. Repatriation. When you're saying you're going to repatriate that yourself, can only end in blood. you're not going to be able to get me out of the country so without right. shooting me in the head. Yeah. You understand? So most people are going to fight. And you mentioned war and are as you well. subcontracting to G4S? Yeah. Who's going to yeah. carry out yeah. these yeah. repatriations? But I am going to say so. I will be deporting people. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a subject. Who's yeah. top of the list? I, I, Ralph. Raspect. <laughs> Uh, a couple of these jihadis, and yeah. Chowdhury. I, I won't just uh, deport them, I'll roll up in a tank. Yeah. Yeah. Point the Speed turret up, to the door no, and say, up. get out. Yeah. That's a joke though, that's a joke. <laughs> and when I say, look, it Speed doesn't... When you're deporting people... Content over everything! Content over everything! From Yago Benami! Yeah. Yeah. Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Free. Yeah, so... Um, this, uh,
kind of a, a, a clarification of something I sort of uh, had an issue, which was that um, when we were talking uh, about the situation with Abu Kassim and all this kind of stuff and Sheikh Faisal, he then tried to mention that, you know, I wasn't a good seat and I wanted this and the seat should start to come down to uh, condemn me and stuff like that. Now, I then said that one of the things about Adna Rashidi is somebody that I believe is an Islamic revisionist and he revises history of India to suit the Islamic perspective. And one of the things that I bring up was that in 2018, uh, unrelated to Speaker's Corner, so it's nothing to do with me because I know a lot of Sikhs say, Raj, you talk about this, then what happens to Sikhs start getting attacked? This was totally uh, outside of Speaker's Corner. This was at a, um, uh, a lecture given by Agna Rashid. Uh, which was about Aurangzeb. Anyone that knows who Aurangzeb is, Aurangzeb was the ruler uh, from when the 